Hey fiends, this is Rick or Treat, and you're watching The Pumpkin Patch. What's up guys, this is going to be my review for yesterday's show, seeing OG Misfits in Inglewood. And um, first off, I'd like to say that if you get a chance to see original lineup Misfits anytime in the future, fucking do it. No questions asked, just fucking do it. Um, so let's get started. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, with these last two shows that they played, they started taking phones and uh, putting them in like little packaging and shit like that so no one could take video. So that's why I have no footage for you. Um, I decided to just leave my phone in the car. Made the most sense to me. Even though I know a lot of people that just, you know, life hacked it and uh, got their phones out of there. Um, so the first band to play that night was Discharge. Um, I don't really care about their stuff very much. I mean, it was cool to see them. I know they're like an old school punk band. Um, there's just nothing really stood out to me about their their live performance. Um, I wasn't in the pit, so maybe that's why. Um, there just there also weren't a lot of people in the crowd at that moment because they were opening. Um, Alkaline Trio played next. Uh, I do know their stuff a little bit more than Discharge. Uh, I really enjoyed seeing them their drummer went wild like just watching him play i, I play drums uh if you didn't see my last video um i explained that i played drums in a few bands and so my focus was on him and just watching his hands move around just hitting things the way he is like uh it was really inspiring um i mean a lot of people complained that they were boring i thought they were fun like i i i don't know why people were making a big deal about it. Um, probably just because they're not like more, you know, cliche, old school punk. Um, they're a little bit more on the pop punk side. Um, the way, if you haven't listened to them, the way that I put them is they're like, um, kind of in between like old school AFI where it's like punk and dark, um, and like Blink-22, which is like definite pop punk. They're kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, in my opinion, they lean a, 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 the stuff that I like. I don't like. I said I don't know their whole catalog, so the stuff that I like leans a little closer to AFI. But I'm sure that they have a few poppier stuff um, that maybe the you know Misfits crowd wasn't really into. Um, so uh, by that time, by the time they were done, the crowd had gotten significantly bigger. And the way that this venue was set up, um, you know, was was. It's like an amphitheater style, so, you know, uh, you know, big old arena, got all the chairs. Well, they went from being relatively empty to being just, like, packed. Um, and they had the VIP pit, I believe, which was, like, sectioned off, which I thought was kind of bullshit. Like, if you bought a pit ticket, you should be in the... Everyone should be in the pit. Um, but it was sectioned off in the middle... So, uh, one of my friends was in, like, the back end of the pit, and, like, you can see, like, an actual pit going around, and you got the front end of the pit where you can see an actual pit going around. Uh, I knew some people in the front as well, and so I, from, from both parties, I've heard how, how cool it was. Like, yeah, it sucked that they had the barricade and they couldn't be in the front, but it was still a lot of fun. Um, and, you know, obviously the people in the front really enjoyed it. But me being in the seats, I also just really enjoyed it. Um... The first, so uh, Danzig seemed to have been down with a cold uh, or just like a, a throat issues from the previous show. And so he was kind of talking like this. He was like really raspy and like you couldn't understand anything he was saying when he was talking. Um, and you could barely understand it when he was singing for the first two songs. Um, <clears throat> so, and they opened with Death Comes Rippin', uh, which is... It's a good song, but it's not one of my, in my opinion, it's not one of their best known. Um, so I thought it was odd that they opened with it, but they got that one out of the way quick. Um, by the third song, um, you could hear, you could understand Danzig like, perfectly. Like, he had already broken the, the, um, like the frog in his throat or whatever. Um, I, 
they still have it. Like, I've never seen Danzig by themselves, by himself, um, like his solo band. I've never seen Misfits led by Jerry only. I have seen Doyle before. We've actually performed with Doyle before. Um, so I only know how his stage presence is normally. Um, I don't know the others, but like they all seem really excited. Um, Jerry, you got Jerry only like sliding across the stage on his knees, like doing that like rock and roll run and slide thing. Like he did that a few times, um, clear across stage, which was really cool. Um, and then, you know, once you could actually hear Danzig, it sounded really good. It was really clean. Um, you know, you got Doyle walking around too, like just like thumping around with that guitar. And, um, you know, AC Slade was kind of in the back. I wish... I mean, I guess it didn't really matter, but it would have been cool if he, like, moved around a little bit more, too, if they, like, would have allowed him to, because I assume it was more of a... It was not really on his... Uh, it wasn't that he didn't want to. It was probably that they, you know, they're the show. Um, and you got Dave Lombardo from formerly of Slayer, and um, he was on drums, and that was badass. Uh, he did... Um, he did really well on that, like, Misfit songs aren't difficult, but he definitely, like, flavored them up a little bit, not too much, um, which was good, and, um, yeah, I think they had a really solid lineup, I'm hoping they do more shows this way, um, the highlight for me were, two, two of the highlights for me were when they performed Vampira, which is one of my favorite songs, and Halloween, which is one of my other favorite songs. They didn't play Return of the Fly, which is my all-time favorite, but um, I didn't really expect them to. That one's not too new. Like, it's a little bit more um, uh, obscure for them, I guess. Um, yeah, badass set. Um, my only gripes, I guess, um, really had nothing to do with them. Like, yeah, Danzig got a little like quasi-political on stage, um, everyone was just kind of like, meh, like, shut up and play. Um, however, uh, I do understand that he has the platform, so, you know, whatever, just sit there and listen until he starts playing again. Um, but the major gripe I had was with some of the crowd members, like, you always got the annoying, like, woo boy, old school punks that are behind you, like, Glenn! Glenn, Glenn, just trying to like start a chant and like it worked once but like he was doing it five times every fucking song um that was annoying but aside from that like I said it was super dope like um for those who don't know me um my band from high school used to perform hybrid moments uh, like we recorded it on an album and everything and like it definitely brought me some nostalgia I had like the one one tear <laughs> because it was definitely a good moment for me um, like you know just listening to those songs that we would that I've performed before and like have some sort of a connection to aside from just having a connection to their music in general um, definitely a good show um, like I said definitely recommend it if you ever get a chance to see them um, I did take some footage of the trek up. Um, I may end up putting that in there in this video. Um, I may not, I may not put all of it just because some of it's just intro and I did, uh, we went to record stores and, um, I didn't feel comfortable recording myself in the record store because I don't really want to be that guy. Um, but I, I, yeah, got some cool stuff. Uh, I had a good time hanging out with the boys. Um, I'll probably include some pictures in here just to, um, you know, you guys think. Were you at OG Misfits, Vegas, Inglewood, even Riot Fest? Let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think. Did you like it? Did you hate it? All right. This is Rick Retreat, and this has been the Pumpkin Patch. Happy New Year. Currently on our way to the Misfits in traffic. may take a little while, but that's okay. I'm very excited. Callan, how are you feeling? Shut up, Rick, I'm trying to drive. <laughs> Robert, how are you feeling? Good. Can't wait. All right.